This video is sponsored by Wabi Cycles. To learn more about the bike I personally ride on a daily basis, you can check them out linked below the like button. Speaking of Wabi Cycles, this bike check. All right, story time. Back in 2015, I was really depressed. Don't worry though, I'm fine now. So like any reasonable person to try to combat it, I decided to build myself a really nice distance fixed gear with money that I didn't have no less. I just wanted something that I could happily ride all day in an attempt to just forget about my worries. I narrowed it down to two frame sets, the All City Nature Boy and the Wabi Classic. On paper, the Wabi Classic was the frame set for me. It had a responsive geometry I liked, it was made out of nicer tubing, it was a lot lighter, all at the same price as the Nature Boy. But I ended up going with the Nature Boy for one big reason. It was purple. But Mario Perez's Wabi Classic build is almost exactly how I envisioned building up my own all those years ago. Even better, Mario and I live in the same town, so I had the pleasure of shooting the bike that could have been for myself. It's no secret, Wabi is a good sponsor to the channel, and I really like their bikes. If you've ever seen one of my sponsored segments for them, you already know what's up with the Wabi Classic. They're constructed out of double-butted, air-hardened Reynolds 725 to get the steel tubes springy and light, fabricated with a classically inspired geometry, and left with room for what Wabi claims can fit up to 32C tires, but from our estimation, can likely fit something closer to 35s in the front and rear. Link in the description, yada yada. Pfft. And with this build, comfort and reliability are the name of the game. Up at the cockpit, to keep things traditional yet modern, our set of Ritchie Classic drops paired with Tetro R312s for that ergonomic hood position and wrapped in Chinelli cork tape in its au naturel finish. The bars are attached to a Veloci tall stack stem with a negative 17 degree angle to ensure the stem runs parallel with the top tube and to clean up the steer tube with a design reminiscent of classy threaded setups. Moving back to the saddle is a Brooks C17 Cambium for that ultimate Brooks comfort and none of their ultimate maintenance requirements, perched atop a Nitto S65 Cristofello, aka the best name for a C-post, aka the best single bolt post money can buy. Down at the pedals is a set of the fan favorite MKS Sylvans in a mean all black finish that gently wears down to silver after thousands of mounts and dismounts. For the foot retention, we have a set of MKS NJS steel toe clips paired with a thoroughly used set of the toe straps that refuse to die, Toshi Deluxe laminated straps in its single strap variant. Cranking the bike is a set of the old reliable Sugino 75s attached to the just as old but less reliable Sugino NJS bottom bracket in all its antiquated loose ball bearing silliness. The cranks are equipped with a 47 tooth salsa track chainring to keep things spicy and in the rear we have a stainless steel 17 tooth all city cog fastened with a Dura Ace lock ring. And a KMC Z410, the chain that just works damn well especially for the price, links the drivetrain together. For the accessories we have a set of Knight Rider lights to alert suburban drivers that are frankly terrible, classy steel cable guides for the rear brake, a PDW birdcage on the C-tube, and a black steel cage on the down tube because a PDW birdcage on the down tube is a death wish, speaking from experience. And a Thule Shield saddlebag because why carry things when your bike can carry them for you? If that wasn't enough to make your head spin, the wheels are Fuji Oval Concept Track Pros, deliciously paired with plush and gummy Panaracer Gravel Kings in 32C to ensure this bike can be ridden anywhere from dirt to gravel to the Sacktown tarmac that's paved with beds of broken glass, stray nails, and dead cats. All I can say is that this build really speaks to me. It's almost exactly how I almost built up a Wabi Classic back in 2015. Color scheme and all. Clean, classy, reliable, and rugged. This build almost makes me regret building up my Nature Boy instead of a classic just like this one. But now we have a signature Zach a lot of reasonably dangerous purple Wobbies coming in the pipeline. So everything came full circle anyway. If you want to have your bike featured in this weekly bike check series, you can find out the instructions on how to do just that typed up in the description below the like button. And Fixie Fan shoutouts to Stan Strong, 108s, Ryan Witz, Julian Corona, Crooks, and Geo for helping to make these fixier videos possible through their support on Patreon.